physical and chemical change uh, or in properties. Physical properties are properties that describe characteristics of substances that do not involve that substance forming any new substance. Chemical properties, on the other hand, are the properties that explain how that substance will form new substances. So some physical properties are things like density, the amount of mass per unit volume, luster, how shiny something is, hardness, how hard it is to scratch. See, all of these things just tell you what it's like. They don't tell you how it's going to form into new substances. I could list a whole bunch of these things like malleable, and that tells you if you can bend it or shape it easily. Sort of the opposite of saying something's malleable would be to say that it's brittle. It might be hard, but it breaks easily. Um, chemical properties, on the other hand, see all these things just tell you what it's like and it doesn't change anything, that just describes it. Chemical properties, on the other hand, tell you what kinds of things might happen to change it into a new substance. So we might say something is flammable, and that means that it will burn. Or we might say it's corrosive, and that means that it might dissolve another substance. We might say that something rusts because we know that the it's like something like iron and it's going to combine with oxygen to make rust, that rust being a new substance. So these guys describe how it is and these guys describe how it changes to something new. With that in hand, we can also define physical and chemical changes. A physical change is a change when there's no new substance, and a chemical change is a change where there is a new substance. So physical changes include things like state changes, like water turning to ice. They include things like breaking, or cutting substances. You change the shape or you change the appearance, maybe you polish a substance, but you don't actually make it into something new. Alternatively, a chemical change then is a change where a new substance is formed. So here we might have something like burning wood. Where the wood is now being changed into charcoal or carbon dioxide and water. And in either case, those are clearly new substances that are being formed. So a chemical change is a change where a new substance is formed. We can't actually see the particles that make up these substances. So what indicators do we have that will tell us or that will indicate to us that it's likely a new substance has been formed? Well, here we have the five indicators of chemical change. Heat or light is given off. That heat or light is probably because the new substance has a different energy than the old substance, and so there's energy available to be produced as heat or light. A solid forming in a liquid, sometimes we call this a precipitate. Bubbles forming, so if uh, we put a piece of metal into water and there's all these bubbles forming on it, then those bubbles are a new substance, sometimes hydrogen gas that might be coming off of the substance. A new color appearing, like when something rusts and that orange color starts to appear, that tells us that that orange is something new that wasn't there before. And the last one, chemical changes. When something changes into a new substance, it's typically very hard to reverse that back into, a, um, into what it was before. So here are some examples, burning wood, we can see that heat and light would be given off. We could also see that the wood changes color. We can imagine something like cooking an egg, where the clear sort of translucent part turns white. 
So that white is a new color, and that's sort of a hint to us that that's a new substance, even though we still call it egg. Um, you can imagine garbage rotting, changing color. We can imagine rusting in that new color forming. We need to be careful. Just because something indicates that it could possibly be a new substance, sometimes that can be a little bit misleading. Let's take the example of boiling water. Is boiling water a chemical change or a physical change? Well, the trick here being that bubbles indicate that maybe it should be a chemical change. But those bubbles are just water molecules going into the air. Water is H2O. Water vapor in the air is also H2O. So there's no change. This means that boiling water is a physical change. It has one of the indicators that suggest to us that it might be a chemical change, but that turned out to be wrong. So we need to be careful. We're looking for a new substance. Here are some indicators that might tell us if there's a new substance, but we can't count on them. They're not 100% true all the time. So we also have to sometimes use our knowledge along with the little pieces of evidence that we have to guide us in determining if something's a physical or chemical change.